Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to run a parallel lines regression analysis. In a previous video we looked at this data I had collected a few months ago in the Madison, Wisconsin area. We look at rent in hundreds of dollars, size in hundreds of square feet, and two locations in the Madison area south and west. We had split the data up into two into the two locations and then made a scatter plot of rent versus size by location. From this scatter plot, it looks like uh, we could model the situation by uh, having a straight line for each group of these points. And since the groups seem to be somewhat parallel to each other, parallel lines seems appropriate. So the next thing I'll do is turn this location variable into a binary variable. I'll insert a column right here at E. Right click on E, insert, and uh, let's call this variable west. So it will indicate whether the apartment is west or not, not being south. So not means code this as zero. Let's format these to no decimal places and center. And I'll copy that all the way down, but once we get to the west side apartments, change those to ones and copy that all the way down. So now I have an indicator variable. One means the apartment is west, zero means it's south. Now we're ready to run the regression. Go data, data analysis, regression, okay. Here's rent, and then my input x range is both size and west. And let's see the output in a new worksheet and we won't do anything with the other options here. Make sure you check the box labels if you included the labels, which you should, the, uh, the variable labels in, when you highlighted the data. Okay, here's our output. Let's uh, clean this up a bit. I'm going to copy some blank cells over these last two confidence interval values because they're duplicates. Let's stretch out column A here a little bit. Let's insert a column at A. And let's format all these cells to three decimal places. Home. Okay. So when I did that, I selected, press on the control key, and you can highlight other parts of your output. Let's also abbreviate some of these uh, regression statistics, so they're not taking up so much space. And I'll interpret some of this stuff shortly. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Uh, now looking at this part of the output down here, I can say the regression equation is uh, rent, or fitted rent, or predicted rent, or I put, I say it's rent hat, it means it's not the actual rent, it's what our model is saying it should be. Here's the intercept plus the slope coefficient for size, uh, yeah, plus the coefficient for west. Let's boldface that and blow it up some more. Okay, so according to this model, holding location constant. For each 100 square feet larger an apartment is, we expect the rent to be higher by about $52 per month. And then, holding size of the apartment constant, we expect west side apartments to cost about $334.30 more than south side apartments. Okay, to see that this one equation is really parallel lines, Let's break it up into two separate equations. So we'll have an equation for south and another one for west. Okay, the equation for south, put in zero for the indicator variable, the binary variable. And then this equation reduces down to this. Put in zero, that just disappears, and we're left with this amount. Okay, then the uh, equation for west side apartments. I'll need to shift the intercept by this amount. So off to the side here I say equal this number plus this number. The new intercept is 
So let's change that. And there's the uh, equation for west side apartments. Notice they have the same slope, so these make parallel straight lines. Okay, however, now I see that the p-value for west is larger than 0 0.05, so it's not a statistically significant variable at the 5% error level. However, uh, my preconceived idea about west and south side apartments were that west side apartments do cost more even before I looked at the scatter plot we've seen before. Uh, anyway, the evidence is supporting that West really does cost more. It did in this sample. If we saw all apartments on the West side and all apartments on the South side, would it cost more? We're not quite sure. Right? The evidence supports it, but not quite convincingly. Um, and it, but the size variable is very statistically significant. Huge t-stat and very small p-value. So size is definitely important, or we're, we're convinced. Okay, what else do we have here? 77.6% of the variability in rent is explained by these two variables. After adjusting for sample size and degrees of freedom, just a little bit less, 77.2% is explained. And uh, our typical miss, our equation goes through the points but missed them on average by about $91.40. Overall, this is a decent regression, but again, we're not quite sure about what's going on with West, if it's significant or not, if it's a real effect or not. Okay, so in the next video, I'll show you how we can plot these two lines in the scatter plot that I had produced before, and we'll make a parallel lines fitted line plot. So that'll be the next video. Thank you.